Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again, continuing our little streak and we are going to go as another one of the vanilla characters. It's been a little bit, um, but I'm not sure who. I've not got an exact idea of who I want to play as. We could do Beast as the Keeper potentially. Beast Keeper is kind of interesting. But actually, let's, let's try and do Mega Satan Boss Rush as Bethany or Mother. We'll see what we end up getting early on. We haven't played Bethany in a little while here, so why not? We'll just double spam this. We do get a Curse of the Labyrinth off the bat, which is kind of an iffy one. I'm not particularly happy with that, because it does mean that I could lose my Angel Deal very, very easily. But I suppose um, I could lose my Angel Deal just as easily anywhere else. So it's not it's not that big of a deal. It's just slightly easier to lose it, I guess. I don't know. Is it slightly easier? Is it slightly harder? I, 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 I've... I've come up with this thing, and I don't really know if it's true. So ignore me for now, and we're going to see if we can just keep it going. A little, little cheeky, cheeky half soul heart there. Um, I'm hoping... Oh, that was a really, really bad loss of my wisp there. That was kind of stupid. I'm hoping that I can keep it going, but it really depends on the types of enemies we end up getting and so forth. Hopefully we can just keep generating more and more wisps and use those to help us out, but... I don't know, we'll see. Obviously, if I find the boss, I'm just going to go for the boss straight away. Now that... I can't even react to that. I literally walked into the room and the enemy just popped out of the ground underneath me. Is is that even remotely fair? Not really. Not really, game. And you king well know it. Oh, anyway, that's for the question of the day. Why not? Why are you frustrated today? <laughs> oh, also, we need to drop filigree feather. Uh, for one, it's a very OP item to start with as a character. I really need to turn that off. I think it as... For all the characters starting Trinket mods that I've got, I like all of them, but Filigree Feather is just absurd to start with, and I will not stand for it. Um, but more so to the point, we need to get key pieces, and I'll forget, and end up bombing the Angel Statues and get an item instead of my key piece, and it'll confuse me and annoy me. I better still get an Angel Deal, you know. I'm going to be really peeved if I don't. Or, or at least if I don't get hit elsewhere, because... The two hits I received in that room, the first one just baffled me, and so the second one kind of led into the led back from the first one. I'm a bit annoyed about it though, because yeah, that guy just like was like, "Hey, I'm just gonna pop up directly underneath you," without warning. Also, little Steven early on is an amazing, amazing grab. He's normally not that good, but I think early on he's like really, really effective. Obviously, really, really strong homing, reasonable fire rate. It's 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 all good, man. It's all good. I like it a lot. Yeah, so we are going to make it there. Well, let's see if we actually end up... Um, I want to see if I can get a red heart here real quick. See if we end up getting um, our deals done. Oh, unfortunately, we're getting cube of meat here, which I'm not particularly best pleased with. But um, I guess we'll just fight through and hope for the best. Okay. It should be fine. Little annoying with the pooters with this guy, but they don't last long. Oh, dude, he keeps destroying my wisps. Get out of here with your wisp destroying power. Let me get ourselves a cube of meat. Grab that. Okay, luckily we've got two pretty easy bosses. It's a little hard with this guy not having bombs and the rocks being in the way, but it shouldn't matter too much. Oh, that was very, very nice. I don't know why that guy decided to just kamikaze his friend there, but... I am very on board with his decision to do so. And we did still get our angel deal good. We don't have a bomb at the moment, which is a little unfortunate, but I think we'll be okay. I, I think we'll still get our angel deal regardless. We've got a pretty good item here as well. I like the skulls. They um, fire off and do some pretty interesting stuff. They can give us money from Midas touch effects. They can do laser beams from the sky. Uh, they can fear enemies. They can do all sorts of good stuff. Uh, overall, I, I quite like this skull item. I find it to be pretty powerful. It's just a good bit of extra damage. It's another sort of thing like Little Steven where it's, it's like a familiar that just helps out a good a good amount. And I like that quite a bit. Quite a bit indeed. And then in here, okay. Okay, well this is a pretty good run to start us off. This is a pretty good run to start us off. Let's, um... Yeah, let's definitely try and do Mega Satan in this run. We could also try and do Delirium as well. Um, we were also trying to go boss rush, so I will skip some rooms here to try and be a little speedy. But yeah, we are going to want to look for bombs for our future angel deals. 
and hopefully we can get the key pieces going. Luckily as Bethany as well, considering we are only on Red Hearts, it does mean that a sack room is slightly more plausible for us. Um, we got another book here, which is kind of nice. I think I'm going to take the second book there. We'll pop that. Pop that. And we'll take this one. Book of Lucifer, basically, it gives you a damage up for the entire floor, and it gives you diminishing returns, but multiple damage ups. It's very nice. I don't think it gives us any special wisp, um, from what I'm seeing. Uh, maybe it does, actually. That's a unique wisp right there. Maybe it does. Um, either way, that, that's not really the priority here. The priority is, of course, being able to actually fully utilize the book for the damage. So good stuff so far, good stuff. Crabby boy, no thank you. Really, just more crabs? Okay, luckily that wasn't so bad. We do have a sack room here, that's good. Uh, we do have keys, so I think it's worth going for. As much as we could lose our angel deal here. Toy drum's very, very nice. Can't remember what you guys do. But yeah, this is good for the charges. Yeah, it does give us a unique whistle, because this is this little red one here, which I haven't quite worked out what that does yet, but it seems like it should be good. We also got Placenta here giving us the odd heal every now and again. But yeah, Toy Drum. What a great thing to uh, to grab on top of all of this. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, this is going to be a hell of a run. Spawn two cards. Why not? Uh, we'll, we'll take this for the boss, I guess. Make our boss potentially a bit easier. And in here, we've got Burzo, which is potentially very, very good for healing. Small bit of damage and fear and charm and stuff right now as well. Adjustment's going to be good for potential money, yep. Okay, let's go back to the shop real quick, considering we're just next to it. Um, I will indeed take the blue map, thank you. It'll be pretty useful. I will quickly go back and grab the secret room. I realize I'm trying to be quick here, but I think based on our speed of killing things, we shouldn't have to worry about speed inside combat too much. Therefore, I can go for secret rooms and stuff. I do want to obviously make sure I have bombs available for my angel deals and so forth um, on our way here. Let's keep it going. Um, there is quite a lot of red hearts about, but I think a lot of them required flight in the sacro room. So right now they're not too viable for us. Is this room over? It is over. That was confusing. Uh, so we've still got one bomb left after using this one here, so I will go for this. Huzzah, huzzah. I'm very glad that I did. Okay, if you could stop spawning spiders, that would be great, thanks. Is one of those a sticky golden penny? That's strange. Oh, you bastard of a shit of a game. That, that fucking skull pulled those explodey boys towards me. I'm a bit miffed about that, I'll be honest. I'm a bit miffed about that, to say the least. That was... The stupid skull pulled those explodey boys towards me and got me hit. So I've lost most of my angel chance. It was a 42% chance, which obviously isn't guaranteed, but it's still good. Hey, there's the Midas Touch effect coming into play. Lovely stuff. Okay. Oh, we got it anyways. Somehow. Somewhere we got it anyways. That is surprising. Confessionals, that's actually pretty good. We could get some good stuff out of that. And we grab ourselves a our key piece. Lovely. And we're on good time already, so let's just keep her going. Yeah, that was annoying. I'm very surprised we actually got our angel deal there on 11%, but... The the Lord sure do work in mysterious ways.
Okay, we've, we've only got one bomb at the minute, so I'm not going to bother with the secret rooms. But yeah, having um, having the extra what's they called? So I forget the name of them now. Uh, we'll do that. We got a shock teleport here, which is good stuff. Uh, having the extra confessional boost when we've got hearts around could be quite nice. I will do a shop teleport here. Random items, so this might not be very useful. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. I'll take that. We'll bomb this open, considering we've got an extra bomb now. There's a confessional right there. We've got another item in here, so I'll quickly grab it. Charge baby, not displeased about that either. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. Be wary here. Eternal Heart, if we can keep that alive, that'd be fantastic. We'll see if that is plausible for us. So far, though, I have to say, I'm liking this run. The tinted rock there that I see. Don't want to pop that yet, though. Oh, does that do anything with this? I forget. It does. Okay, nice. Awesome. Okay, we are running a little bit behind on this floor in terms of timings. But overall, not bad. Good old Cricket's body. You've got to love to see it. Very, very nice. Like, I can't grab that. We only need money, though, for opening stuff now. We don't have to worry too much. Oh, again! These are some bullshit rooms, my guy. How? How was I meant to have avoided that? Come on. Rude. <laughs> very, very rude. Right. Yeah. Bit bit peeved about that. Not much I could have done to avoid that. Oh, really? Soul Heart I can't grab. Okay. We went every which way but the boss this floor, so we're a little bit slow on this one, but this is thingy two, caves two, so we shouldn't shouldn't have to worry regardless. Grab that again. We got some sort of heart battery here, which I've literally never seen before. Don't know what that meant, but thank you. Cool, pop in here, do that. Nice and easy on him. Ah, oh, that... Really? Really? It showed up on top of rocks? What's the point in that? <laughs> what is the point in that? One second. Uh, one second. Uh, da -da -da -da. All right, let's keep this train a rolling. Keep this train a rolling. Yeah, I think we should be able to get through everything pretty quick here. Oh, hello. I like that. Slightly annoying room there, but not so bad. Do we have one of the Reviver guys in here? No, we don't. Okay. thought I was going to have one of those Reviver bats that just constantly picks those guys back up. Another Eternal Heart. Oh, wait. Does that mean I lost my Eternal Heart last floor as well? God damn it, game. Rude. Should not have lost that Eternal Heart at all. My god, Tech X is just so goddamn good. One of the all-time greats. What's better than this, people? I love it when you get a room like this where it clearly wants you to do something and you can just be like, no. <laughs> right, 
to take care of you. Oh, I thought you were going to be annoying, but you've just managed to uh, basically kill yourself. Thank you for that. Actually, our fire rate is really good as well right now. I'm noticing. And then we got you over here. Yeah, about an hour away from the new Warzone release. So I'm just basically waiting out that at the moment. I'm just chilling. Waiting for that. Sad, I know, but I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Hermit, we don't really need right now. Not a big fan of that secret room location, let's be honest. Oh, I, I really... Enemies that, try, that like, bop up and down and try and hide from you, I'm just like, please, just... Let me kill you, please. It'd be so much easier if you could just let me kill you. Ooh, Nightshade. Goes very well with Bethany. More wisps to protect us. Uh, here's a surefire way to get into a secret room easily as well. Now I know where I'm placing the bomb. That's a lot of money as well. Shop we haven't seen yet. We did see a Hermit card back over there that I guess I could use. But I think I'm just going to carry on. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I want to be reasonably quick. I was just about to say as well, like, that that could have happened. Okay. And um, what we got in here? Just a fight. I kind of expected this, to be honest. Luckily, though, it was a good one. And it basically gives us more keys now. I love that golden penny mod. So good. So stylish. Feels like it's how golden pennies were meant to work. Right, we've seen item room. Good to go here. Nice and easy there. Box of stuff. We do get this, which is 30 shots fire a, a charming icicle tier. Yeah, go for it. Carry on down to the next floor, I think. We've got a lot of money here, so we'll see if we can get anything spent on the next floor. And we're well within time here. we got we got plenty of time to go. Good, good. Hey, secret room here as well. Hopefully we can get a second key piece this floor. If I can keep, uh, keep myself in check, but we'll see. Luckily, I do have a lot of wisps now, so protection from that should be fine. There's even more money. Lovely. We always like even more money. Just bombs. I kind of expected that. Sometimes you just know. Do you ever have that in Isaac where you open a chest and you just kind of know when it's going to be an item or when it's going to be dog shit? And you, just, you can just feel it. Okay, it's kind of nice to see that my trinket does indeed work with Tech X. I wasn't sure if it would. Um, considering it said every 30 shots. So I wasn't sure if that meant specifically tears, but seems to be working just fine for us right now. Alright, Shoppeth, how are you? Uh, unfortunately, not a shop we want to interact with, really. Uh, that is some items there that I do not particularly care for. Right. Bomb in here. Trinket smelter guy. Don't really have any need for you. Not smelter, but um, whatever you want to call him. Right, we've got to go find our item room as well here. Just got to wait for the spikes there. Be on our merry little way. I'm really liking this book giving us all this extra damage. I mean, obviously Tech X has just got great damage on it anyways, but it means that we don't particularly need a damage up item to still be able to, like, keep up. Obviously, it means the start of each floor is a little bit rough. But other than that, it's pretty easy to sort of occur our damage up to a point of it being... Pretty useful. Obviously don't use this against the boss, but this is still good to hold. I like that brimstone one. Beautiful. And in here we've got... Hey, that's pretty good. Tears have a chance to confuse enemies and cause them to shoot out lightning in random directions. Not bad at all. 
Not bad at all. Single penny there, thank you. Right, very much ready to go, I think. We do want to do boss rush, don't we? Yes, and we're not skipping boss rush. We have done hush already, we don't have to worry about that. Um, and then we're going for uh, Mega Satan if we get our key piece, which I'm hoping we will get on this boss fight. I can't imagine us getting hit here unless it's like a really hard version of Mum or something. Um, I think we're in a decent spot for this. And hopefully we've got a high enough chance to actually just get the Angel Deal outright. I think we do. Okay, it's Blue Mum. Not that bad. Blue Mum can be a little bit annoying sometimes with the spawns. Depends on what she gives us. The, the bigger thing with Blue Mum is she doesn't put her foot down very often. My Wisps have the um, effect of Eye of Belial, whatever it's called. Okay, nice. We did get it. We got an Eternal Heart as well. And that. We are going Light Path, I guess. It doesn't... Actually, no. Let's, let's, take, let's take Dark Path. Um, we'll come in here, and we'll get Immaculate Heart. Very nice. Get Frozen Burza. Lovely. I don't know why... I... <coughs> Sorry, I got something caught in my throat there. I don't know why I chose Dark Path, actually. Double Dead Bird. Seraphim. That fly. Okay, I guess it's Seraphim. Unfortunately... All of this is a bit, bit dookie. Okay, thank you for destroying my wisps immediately, good sir. Oh, Kingpin, get the hell out of here. Get lost, Kingpin. You don't deserve life. Right, the ultimate test here is if I can keep my Eternal Heart alive, then we know we're, we're on a good run. I mean, we already know we're on a good run, but I mean... We know we're on an insane run if that happens. We're going to keep stacking damage throughout this as well, which is rather nice. What we got up here? Honestly, Cricket's body with this is such a good combo as well. Like Every time we hover over an enemy, it just shoots out more and more shots. I love that. Unfortunately, we do have this guy who is the worst ever. Dude! He fired a fire that went over the top of the skull. I specifically lined myself up to make sure that skull was in the way. Nope, the fire just goes straight over them. That boss... Just evil, man. And by evil, I mean not fun. Anyways, we are absolutely destroying Boshrus. Sadly, no Eternal Heart kept for us, which is a big old shame. But we are up to 12.43 damage already, which is pretty good going, I'd say. A big old bag of burns here. Polished burn is actually pretty good. I think I'll take that. Honestly, the, the Midas Touch effect is helping us so much. Keep, like, it's one of the status effects that can affect bosses a lot. Like, a lot of status effects don't do much to bosses, or they have really, like, diminishing return effects where they don't really last long. Midas Touch effect seems to last a really long time on bosses, even still. Like, it just doesn't seem to change the amount of time it affects them for compared to a regular enemy. Which is very helpful. Gotcha, fella. Gotcha. Oh, shit, you're there. Well, that was confusing, because that's not where your little underground markings were. Okay. Should be on the last, like, three or four waves now, I think. Maybe last three. We haven't seen an angel yet, have we? I fired the wrong way, goddammit. There you go, nice one. And we got Rune Bag, not bad. Does Rune Bag drop a rune when you pick it up? No, it doesn't, okay. Right. Down we go. But nice of those confessional booths. 
were uh, able to detect those rocks there and not just spawn on top of rocks. At least we've got our um, key pieces now. Yeah, the reason I originally I took Dark Path is so we could still go to Delirium, but if I'm going to go Mega Seer and I don't get a choice. I'm at the whim of the game whether I go Delirium or not. Uh, what I was thinking is, oh, Dark Path has that little room where you can go to Delirium, but only if you can escape the Mega Satan room, which we can't because it triggers automatic cutscene. That was a little bit of a, of a silly decision by me. I don't really know what's better here, Polish Burn or that Black Locust uh, Trinket, the Famine one. I think uh, the Polish Burn's better. Or potentially better, should I say. Yeah, the little, the little dudes that we have, I'll take that. The little dudes that we have, the little wisps that we generate from our book, they um, fire the uh, Belial shot, you know, the Eye of Belial, whatever it's called, where when they go through an enemy, they gain piercing and extra damage. And that's a pretty cool idea for a wisp. Unlikely to be here the right direction, but yeah. I checked it anyways, just in case. Because <clears throat> I, just, I just hate it when you like, go, oh no, no, it's not this way. I'll go the other way, and then you have to backtrack all the way back there, because it was the way they originally thought it wasn't. We've got a giant polyp here. We do have enough bombs to do this, and we don't need our bombs for anything else in particular, so I will crack this bad boy open. And we got plus N a two electric boogaloo. Not bad. Oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa. there's a rune in here. Ah, oh, it's just that. Okay. I thought that was a rune for my rune bag. It was not. It looks a death is what I was thinking of. Shouldn't be too many rooms between us and the boss fight. Oh, that was a very, very bad hit there by me. Very silly. Just kind of stood right in the way of that guy that was being launched at me. It's annoying because, like, now, that's the only thing that can really hurt me. So getting hit by it is kind of stupid. Because I've got so much protection against um, shots coming towards me. With all the wisps and stuff. What we got here? Yara. Damn it! I should have goddamn... I should have goddamn held off. Right, I'll still take the Yara anyways. It's still useful for potentially good devil deals and that. That's just a bit a bit annoying to uh, end up getting that. Oh, for God's sake, game. I don't have any bombs either. Fuck it, I'm just going to hurt myself. Hey, the, the game was like, okay. <laughs> Here we go. I couldn't be asked waiting, so I was just going to hurt myself to get through that. And it's, the game was like, no, 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 it's cool, it's cool. You hurt yourself, I've, I've got your back. Good old Bozo. Bozo is so clutch, man. Bozo can save a run. Don't ever mock a Bozo. Right, this guy should go down in record time. There you go. Right. Down we go. This, this, I think this is pretty much set and done now. Um, I don't think we've got too much fear of... Uh, this come crashing down. I will play you, because um, you could give me a HP up. That's actually pretty good. Vanilla Wave is quite nice. I'm not going to take any of the pills. I'm not feeling too spicy on this run when we've already basically got the win. Why rock the boat? Why even rock the boat? Apologize, I'm coughing a little bit. I haven't got a sore throat as such, it's like a tickly throat. God damn, Tech X, man. You don't even need a lot of damage to make it just obscenely good. It's like way better than Mum's Knife. <laughs> it's so easy to use well because it travels across the whole room. Unfortunately, very much the wrong way here. Kind of expected it to be honest. I don't know why I thought it'd be this way. What rune did we get in here? All oh, right, Solemn of Golem. Soul of 
Transfer fire attendance ball. Runes are more common. Um, using runes drops rune shards. They have a trail of tears when you move. Eh, that's not that good. I think I'd rather have this. Right. Let's hope we can keep this angel deal alive. I know it's not a super high chance to get one, but 54% uh, is not nothing. Should be pretty easy for us to keep it alive, to be honest, as long as we uh, don't get run into by an enemy. Like I said, tears have a pretty hard time actually damaging us at this point, so... We're getting so much HP, like, just available if we want it as well. Ah, oh, this is good. This is going to be a room that I could get hurt in. This is a lot of enemies that run directly into me. Plus that. Okay, we're alright. It's the first time I've seen that Plasma Globe trigger. The Among Us looking guys. Okay. We all good? We all good. Okay, boss time. This fella could potentially do some damage. I'm hoping my skulls help out with absorbing those shots. Okay, no. Midas Touch did help, though. Hey, and we got that angel deal. Booyah, baby. Booyah. That's actually not bad. I do not mind that whatsoever. Uh, it's going to help. And then we're going down, right? We took the negative. We did indeed. I'm a little annoyed that I took the negative, but... It is damage, at least. I love the fact that they changed it to the, neg uh, the negative, giving you damage. That's, like, such an amazing change. Ooh, that was a soul of Cain there. Hmm. If I see a good room for it, I'll uh, I'll go back for it. But right now, I don't think I need to. Okay, let's try and push through. We know where the boss is now, which is very very nice. Having this guy. Like, stop not being able to be killable until everything else is dead is rather annoying. Midas Heart, I guess I'll take it just because it's pretty. Good, been able to use that book a good amount here. Where's the last ones? There you are. And a beautiful, beautiful way to easily get over to our boss here. Not got any bombs right now. Just do three, two, one, and fire. Yeah. Time it just right so it spawns directly on top of them. Like I said, wisps should keep us relatively protected here. The the feet obviously can hit us directly, same with the uh, the stone things that they produce, so uh, still at risk of taking damage from that. But we did not, huzzah. Right. Remember to Yara these and then see what we get. I don't know if I'm going to take any of them because obviously my health is kind of precious right now. We might as well Yara and just see what we get. Literally nothing, really. Nothing. I mean, we could take uh, Judas' Shadow, but we don't need the completion marks for Judas. I think we just go in and, and get on this. I suppose, actually, no. Let's say uh, we've got base luck. And we, um, we we gain quite a lot of damage out of playing the floor from our uh, our active item. Let's play out the floor for a bit. Just to see if we can get any additional items. <clears throat> but more so on top of that, see if we can uh, get some more charges going. This guy will hit me, unfortunately. <coughs> I told you. I don't think I've ever not been hit by this guy. Hey, vanilla wafer though. Vanilla wafer for the win. Hey, vanilla wafer. Healing me up, baby. Healing me up. It's beautiful. Don't do the lasers. Don't do the lasers. Okay, you're dead. Back up to full health again. Yeah, we're getting quite a lot of damage out of doing these rooms, so... 
And this was well worth it. Another item there as well. It's Tractor Beam too. Very, very nice. Doesn't do anything for us in terms of actually being a Tractor Beam. But it does give us a pretty big bonus to fire rate. A full one on fire rate, which is kind of amazing. Good. <coughs> any luck in here? I don't see any luck pennies. What does this do again? Ah, that's just the spinning coins one. We don't care about that. We don't much care about that. And secret room item, maybe? What could you give us? There is a secret room item in here, surprisingly. There's also this for 98 cent. Tears up is pretty good. Hey, lovely tears up. Yeah, don't really know why the uh, the rat poison there costs so much. Feels a bit excessive. Oh, excuse me, game. There's a red heart back there. Let's not worry about that damage too much. The organization, Midas Touch just bullied him. There was nothing you could do. Say you're ripping pieces. Also as well, actually, something I didn't think about is Rune, Rune Bag could end up giving us some pretty good stuff. Look at this heart. Get back here, please. There you go. I'd say Rune Bag could technically give us some good stuff uh, before the boss fight. We've not had anything amazing yet, but... There's quite a few runes that could be useful. Ah, uh, that's decent. Lovely. We managed to get quite a few charges going so far. We were up to 12 point something damage in boss rush, so we're not quite there yet, but... Close. Right. <clears throat> oh, see now that that's the sort of that's the sort of shit you're looking for at the end of the day. <clears throat> you can get yourself <clears throat> a lovely bit a lovely little bit of golden bombs. Technically, we can uh, get a few charges out of this. There you go. Up to 12.93 now. Not bad, not bad. <clears throat> a few more rooms in us here. We managed to actually gain more HP from doing this as well. We we're on a higher HP than we started. We got a burn heart, we filled it, and we filled it with an eternal heart. So we gained three more hits. <clears throat> If we can keep him, that is. Goddamn, sorry. <clears throat> My throat is just not agreeing with me right now. <clears throat> it's all this talking I do, I guess. Bound to catch up with me at some point. Oh, good. Steam sale. I probably should have red ruined that, to be honest, but... hey huh. Anyways. <clears throat> Let us go and fight the boss. I was sure there wasn't anything we want from the Devil Deal rooms. Don't think so, no. Enraged Soul, maybe. Eh, nah. Slick's, uh, Slick Spade's also really good, but I don't know if it'll work with Tech X, so I said no. <clears throat> oh, wait, no, Tech. I'm just realizing now. Um, the, I think it's, um, what's it called? Tractor beam that's making tears circle around my, uh, my ring of, uh, Tech X. So we've got circling tears as well as the cricket's body tears. That's why I wasn't seeing them to start with. But yeah, there's definitely, there's definitely tears like circling around it. Pretty cool, huh? 
We've got a charge there as well out of our charge, baby. Lovely. <clears throat> My goodness. <clears throat> this has been rather easy so far. Nice, easy angel, boys. Look at the damage it deals. Look at his health going down. Even to the point where he needs to spawn more fools to try and help him. I don't know why that brimstone was so off-center there, but kind of helped me out. Right, next phase. <clears throat> this should be very easy. Because that using bombs now as well, I guess. Okay, the bombs aren't really working the way I would have hoped. I thought they'd get pushed towards him pretty easily, but it seems they don't really have that in mind. In fact, that one was just like, let's just sit on top of you. <clears throat> let's just keep firing. It's way more effective. <clears throat> and we'll see if we get a delirium. Who knows if we will. Okay, last few hits. Good stuff, and we did indeed get Delirium. Lovely stuff. <clears throat> it's very rare recently that I get Delirium, so it's nice to finally have it happen. <clears throat> and we do have full mapping. Very nice. <clears throat> Let's go down to that center of three over there. Unfortunately, lost our Eternal Heart, so we don't gain that extra heart there, but... hey her. You guys get deaded quick. Should be able to get a good amount of damage on this floor as well. <clears throat> Do as many rooms as we can to get that damage going. Hopefully we can find some battery charges or get some from our little buddy as well. <clears throat> Sometimes I like fully charge and it just won't let me fire. I'm not sure what that's about. Really? God damn it. <clears throat> This is unfortunate because we're at the lowest level of damage we can possibly be at. Um, and we didn't get time to get any items. So this is not ideal. But it should be fine regardless. I'm a little annoyed we didn't get any time to grab any um, runes or damage ups though. I was really hoping to at least get like two or three book uses in. Luckily, with Tech X, we can just fire from basically across the room and hopes to be hitting still. And I'd, even with our damage only being like 7.28, it's not terrible. Um, we're still doing quite a lot of damage. Why are you racing across the goddamn room so much? Can you chill out for a bit, dude? We've almost got him halfway. I don't even know where he is anymore. Oh god, he actually managed to set that on fire. I really wasn't expecting that. Oh, we got another damage up there. So up to 8.11 now. That's good. I'm hoping to get more up to like 11 sort of thing. But is that fire just never going to disappear? Okay, there you go. Just took a, took a good while. Yeah, at least we can get extra charges through our uh, charge baby here and there, potentially. And we've constantly got this thing of wisps that's keeping us uh, afloat as well. What exactly are you doing here, buddy? <clears throat> yeah, because he keeps spawning adds and they keep giving us these purple wisps that do damage but also block shots. So we're, we're fairly well protected right now. Also, our Gorgon Boy is actually freezing this guy on occasion, too. This has been easier than I thought. No Midas effect, though. Oh, wait, no, was that it? No, I don't know. 
Hey, if we can keep that alive. No, didn't didn't matter. I was hoping to keep that alive for later, just in case, but I don't think we need it at this point. The guy's basically dead. There you go. Nice and easy. Didn't need the rest of the floor to get this done. I hope you guys did thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy. <clears throat> and yes, I will indeed see you all, guys, in the next video. I can't remember what we unlocked for doing this, actually. Let's have a little look-see, shall we? We get ourselves... Hey, Sarah Bapper, nice. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next one.